That never gets old. Okay. So multiplying polynomials is the same as distributive property, except it's a distributive property party. It goes like this. So if you could please write the following. Okay. So we're going to build onto this problem. Okay, who can distribute this? Yes? 5x plus 20. 5x plus 20. Okay, that was a brief intro on distributive property. Okay. Next problem. We're going to do the same thing, except allow for a little space. All right, I'll show you what I mean. Here. So I know there's space here, but we're going to pretend there's no space, and we're going to do distributive property again. So imagine like there's no space. Do you have a good imagination? Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Volunteer to distribute this. Yes. X squared. Yeah. Um, plus four x. X squared plus four x. Correct. X squared plus four x. Good. Questions on this? Distributed. So if you claim to have a good imagination, write the following next to your x. Okay. The following next to your x. And with your strong imaginations, pretend that the x is no longer there. And we're simply looking at 6 times x. Who can distribute this one out, please? 6x plus 24. 6x plus 24, correct. Writing that in. Okay. So in other words, we distributed the first x, as in x times x, and then x times 4. That gave us those two. Then we distributed the 6. That's 6x plus 24. So this is the type of problems we're going to be working with today. All right, can these be combined in any way? Simplification? Yes. yes. What's it going to be? Yes. x squared plus 10x <laughs> plus 24. Right. x squared plus 10x plus 24. So, <laughs> questions on that? That's foiling, all right? The reason they call it foil is the following. You multiply the first terms. There it is. That's F. Write that here. You can even write it here if you like F. Then you multiply the outer terms. That's here. It's O. Anyone know what I is? Yes, Jack? Yeah. Inner. There, those are the inside terms. Notice 6 and x are both on the inside. So multiply those two. That's i. And finally, l stands for, yes? Last. Last, good. So that's 6 and 4 are both the last terms in these two sequences. And that gives us 24. And here's a big hint. The o and the i usually will combine, like they do here. The o and the i combine to make 10x. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, yeah, I did sing just now. X minus two. As well, right? Why not? Yeah. Okay, using your vast knowledge and your strong imaginations as we did above, using the FOIL method, multiply these two polynomials. Right. So what's good is that you're doing it and anyone at home is doing this, so we can actually work together, get the room feeling. Yeah. I, oh, I'm in the way.
Okay, volunteer to distribute this first X, meaning F and O. Yes, please. Um, it'll be X squared. X squared is X times X. Plus 4X. Plus 4X. That is achieved by multiplying X by 4. Good. Okay. O, I was done, excuse me. I and L. I and L. Please. I, so that's inner, so... Um, negative and x, and that's negative 2x. Minus 2x. And um, then the last, which is um, negative 2 and 4. So that's, um, you multiply them, and that's negative 8, so minus 8. Minus 8. And don't be afraid to speak up. You're right, be proud. I'm right. Okay, good job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Catch on fast. Okay. So the last step is to simplify the middle two terms, and what are they? Yeah. x squared plus um, 2x. Minus eight. That's all it is. That's all it is. Okay, what we're going to do next is we're going to find some patterns about when you're multiplying these two. Sometimes magical things happen. A lot in math. Let's do that now. Okay? Okay. Say goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.